Howdy, Howdy Ramblers. Ramblers! We're here in Dallas, Texas. And we're here at the Trinity Trail. And uh, this is a trail that goes up over the flood control levees down into the Great Trinity Forest. We're also going to check out some other areas along the Trinity River, which is basically sort of a forgotten corner of Dallas. Yep, we're going to go check it out and uh, keep it on the map. So let's go! The Trinity River is one of Texas's major rivers and winds its way through Fort Worth and Dallas before heading south to skirt the Houston area. Well, we've uh, made it to one tip of this little uh, Buckeye Nature Trail, and you can see the Trinity River down here, and some uh, trees and birds making noises. Uh, and it's it's pretty incredible, really, because if you look on a map, this little trail that we've been on is just a little tiny corner of this giant forested area in the floodplain and that tree's gonna break. In response to dangerous floods, massive levees were built in the 30s and 60s. Unfortunately, the levees also hide the river from view. And many locals think of the river as dirty or polluted, and because of this, a vast public resource goes largely unused. Um, this is a shell, um, typically from the crustaceous era of the Krakarakadarkadar. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a snail to me. Are you home, old snail? Nobody's in there. If you couldn't hear the railroad tracks in the freeway, you wouldn't even know that you were uh, near a city because it's so beautiful out here. It looks like you're in the, in the hill country or the countryside somewhere. I grew up in the Dallas area, and when I was a kid, I played in the woods by my house. And now all there is there are more houses. A uh, user-friendly Trinity would easily be the largest park in the area and a jewel of a public land. All it really takes is a change in mindset. All right, well, we're here uh, at the uh, another part of the floodplain, and we're at the boat ramp. Uh, we could put a canoe or a kayak in here and uh, float the Trinity. Yeah, but we didn't bring our canoe, so unfortunately we missed out. But. Which is okay, because you really can only go about three and a half miles right now, then there's some construction you have to pull out. Eventually you'll be able to go a lot further. There's also That's lots it. of uh, uh, hiking and walking trails up on the floodplain right here, there where are. it's more open. And you can bike as well. View of downtown. Uh, there used to be a lake, but it's really more of kind of a small pond right now because there's a drought in this area. However, there is a soccer great fields. soccer field. Thank you, Andrew. There's a lot of big space and goals already set up, so just bring your ball and your cleats and you're good to go. That's right. So, uh, you know, you don't have to hide the river or hide from it. Go out and enjoy it. There's uh, always nature in your backyard. You may not even know it. Exactly. Well, until next time. Ramble on. Ramble on. Oh, I'm ready for some barbecue.